I sometimes think that that um, uh, a piece of art is a meeting of two often contradictory uh, concepts, or it can be a, a marriage of opposites in, in, in lots of ways. So, um, yeah, when when something like that does happen, uh, it's usually not by planning; it's by experimentation. For after Patineer, um there, I suppose there, there's technical processes and then there's kind of creative processes. And creatively, it, it came about as a merging of a few different interests. So I was, um, I, I was keen to do something around landscape, but I was also really conscious how images of landscape are so encoded with our understanding of other images, so images in relation to tourism and you know, the art history, Paul Henry landscapes or whatever uh, of the west of Ireland. So finding a way into making something interesting with uh, west of Ireland landscape was a challenge. So using the, the lens of the Pataneer painting, so this is a, a painting by um, Joachim Pataneer in the 1500s where he created this invented landscape of St. Jerome in the, in the uh, landscape and it was it was also a, a a narrative space so it was telling a story in space rather than in time which appealed to me um, so that from a kind of conceptual point gave me a way into making something and then from that it was very much taking lots and lots of photographs and um, uh, experimenting with putting them together mix and match and um, then eventually forming a kind of a world that had its own cohesive narrative. Um, but, and as I said, that was around the time that, you know, as I said, Photoshop was still fairly new. So there were no rules with this new piece of equipment that you could, you know, there, you didn't feel uh, hampered by preset experiences. Um, so that, that enabled that kind of a free approach. You could, you could uh, see one thing through the lens of something completely different. Even though I use technology quite a lot, I wouldn't see what I do as particularly about technology or necessarily responsive to what changes in technology. But um, I've been, yeah, from working a lot with Photoshop, I went into doing a lot of work with 3D graphics as well. Um, so uh, that again allows for a kind of a slow world building approach where you're creating effectively uh, film sets that you can light and restructure and uh, whatever. So that was a, another interesting creative opportunity. Um, and uh, that, but I'm, because I, I also teach digital media, I'm quite kind of tuned into you know emerging technologies and that um but I, as i said I, I don't feel that what i do is is anyway really about the technology as such in a sense the exploration for this picture started from looking at photography particularly by this guy called costica accente which is a romanian photographer forgive my pronunciation who um, was active before the Second World War in, uh, uh, in Romania. And he managed to get something, I thought, quite extraordinary from his sitters. And I think a lot of that had to do with this notion that the people being photographed had no preconception of them being a photograph in the process. So they were looking out of a picture rather than at a lens. Um, and so I was curious to experiment with that. There was also this thing of, you know, artificial painted backdrops. So the, these peasants in front of artificial painted backdrops of, um, uh, of idyllic landscapes. Um, so uh, simultaneous to that, I was doing a lot of work with photogrammetry, which is a form of 3D scanning um, made by uh, taking lots and lots of photographs of your uh, subject. Um, so I got the opportunity to use a 3D scanning lab in London, which was a, basically a, a room that was a, a dome of uh, cameras, all uh, triggered to fire off 
simultaneously uh, to get a lot of data. And it was a, an interesting way of creating 3D models of um, people. Uh, so I brought various people in, there was friends, actors, etc., and um, got them to, uh, to uh, uh, be scanned. Um, I, I asked everybody coming in to come in with some sort of a, a concept in mind, some sort of an idea, a thought that I didn't want to know about, but just to, to bring that to the thing because it just to see what this, what internal uh, qualities can come across in it. And from that there was a, a small number of the scans that really did interesting things. And so the um, uh, Joanna picture is based around uh, my friend Joanna, who um, she managed to uh, get some very kind of internal um, energy in what she was doing. So um, that scan I brought into 3D software and started um, experimenting with creating an environment. Um, I had not a, a concept beforehand of what that environment was going to be, or even the fact that the scale was going to be so disproportionate and all of that. All of that. It was just a sort of a, an instinctual process of moving things around and seeing what happened. Um, it was done quite slowly over time, which I think allowed things to emerge that uh, uh, I found quite interesting. Um, and I think the result is something that um, uh, can be engaged with slowly because it was made slowly. You know, I'm still using technologies, but as I said, I'm also using traditional media um, and um, ideas can come from anywhere. <laughs>